Hello everyone. Today I want to look at creating a simple project using Flowcode 10. Here we have Flowcode 10 loaded. I have the latest version installed and I can click on new project and then it gives me a list of example a list of devices that I can choose to start my project. So I can either create an embedded project something that will run on a microcontroller device or I can use a app developer project mm -hmm. something that will run on the computer itself so today I'm going to create an embedded project we have a new project or we have templates now templates are basically example projects um, to do various things such as here are some getting started with chips examples. Here are some examples for creating components. Uh, we have eBlox2 and eBlox Solutions, Internet of Things, things for MyAC, things for microchip devices. Today I'm going to create a new project, so I'm just going to start um, from scratch. Under the free targets, I'm going to select an Arduino device. So I have the Arduino Uno R3 PDIP in front of me and down here we need to specify the port the Arduino is connected to so I have my Arduino connected I've got the USB driver installed and then when I select the port I know it's, it's available under COM12 so let's start our new project So here is the Flowcode environment. Here we have our Project Explorer window. So this details lots of things to do with the project itself. Over here on the right hand side we have our Properties window. And that tends to be to do with components. And um, a component is basically a, a, a library. Generally it's a library of code that will simulate and here we have our panel window which is where we place our libraries or components so let's have a look at the components library so these are all the libraries built into Flowcode so we have as you can see a large selection of input components output components displays sensors, storage devices, so buffers, EEPROMs, um, file I.O. so SD cards, real-time clocks, string functions, we have some math functions, some basic filters, timer, uh, DSP, so some various um, signal processing math blocks. Communications, so CAN, I squared C, I squared S, LIN, uh, OneWire, SPI, UART, DALI, DMX, MIDI, Modbus, Modbus TCP, plugin for talking to the BBC Weather, um, various networking components. For different modules, uh, USB, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile phone, GSM, uh, IRDA, LoRa, some various RF, some RFID, wireless LAN, Zigbee. And then we've got various things for this driving the simulation and some things for drawing things on the panel and creating your own components. So today I'm just going to create a really simple program um, and what I'm going to do is because I'm using the 2D panel I only want to see the components that will work with my 2D panel so you can see here we have show components 2D and 3D now we have a 2D panel and we also have a 3D panel and at the moment under component libraries it's showing both um, and some components will only work here and some components will only work here 
So let's change this to 2D only. And then under outputs, I want a simple LED. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And you can see that I can I can give this LED a title. So let's call it um, LED one. I believe this will update. Um, you might need to. It might do it automatically, but um, you might need to reload the project. So I'm just reloading it by changing a few properties there. I'm going to connect this to um, Arduino pin A5. Um, let's just bring on my camera, and you can see that I've got an Arduino connected up, connected on the USB. I've got an LED connected between. If you can see that focusing, an LED on pin A5 with a series resistor about 330 ohms. And then that's connected through to ground. Okay. Let's turn my camera off again for a minute. Right. So our program is going to be really simple. So we're going to create. You're going to use our command icons. So they're available here, or also on the icons tab here in the Project Explorer. We're going to create a loop. Let's have a look at the components tab of our project explorer and you can see we have LED1 this is our LED and then if we expand this we can see all of the macros associated with this LED so we can set the states of the LED we can turn it off we can turn it on so let's turn on let's add a delay so let's have one second let's turn it off and then if I press control and drag then it will copy that one second icon for me. So it's a really simple program and this is a ideal program to get started in that it confirms that the microcontroller is running at the speed you think it is i.e. if it runs and the delays on the hardware are one second then you know that more complex things like serial board rates are going to be correct as well. I'm going to give this a name so LED test stick it on my desktop. We've already specified the COM port but if we do need to change it again we could go to the build project options and here's the COM port and for things like PIC devices you might have configuration settings here that you have to get right for the hardware to run. So the Arduino will just program when I, connect, when I click the compile to target. Some devices like PIC devices, you might want to use an eBlock or a, a PICKIT3 or PICKIT4. So here under compiler options you can basically select which um, profile to use. So we could, for AVR, we could set it to use the AVR ISP or the USB Tiny. For PICs, we could set it to use the PICKIT3, the PICKIT4. Some of these have some requirements, such as it needs MPLAB X with the IPE installed for it to run. But then it will auto detect and, and find that and program via that. And for each one, you would basically have a have a look um, and. This tick box default compiler would allow you to set which one you would compile with. Okay, so um, let's have a go at simulating first. So we can run. You can see the LED flashes on and off. Um, in a previous video, I talked about being able to step into macros and step into component macros. I've found the options, they're here in the simulation debugger. So if I pause and step into, then I can actually step inside of the component macro. 
So it's a nice little feature. So there, we've got the program running. If we want to, we can look at our macros and we could do things like show as C code or show as pseudo code or show as blocks. So here's the, the block version of the func component. Obviously you can you can program like this or you can program in flowcharts or you can program in pseudocode. There's also, when you go to add new, add a new macro, there's also a state diagram mode that we can select. So we can do things like state machines. That's probably for a future video. So we've got our program. It's running in the simulation. Let's click build and compile to target. It says the project must be saved. Yes, we'd like to save it. So here it compiles. And then it's saying connect your Arduino. So we've connected it. Um, it's saying that if you're using the eBlocks, then put the program port switch in the program position. We can just tick this tick box and then it will never show this again, or during this session anyway. And then we can click OK. And now it programs the compiled program onto our Arduino device. And if I bring up my camera back up, you can see that the LED is quite happily flashing away now. The delays seem to be about one second and so I can tell that if I were to do things like um, components with specific timings then they would likely be okay as well. Right then, the next thing I want to show you is you've got a, pro a, a, a project that you're working on and you get stuck or you want some extra help with something. Well, the first spot of call is for any component you can right click it and go to help. And this brings up the wiki page specific for that component. Why it's taking too long to load. Interesting. The wiki uh, appears to be down at the moment. Okay, we'll try that again in a minute. You can also go to help and forums. And here you can um, create a topic or search for other topics that might have similar problems. You can post your project file as an attachment and you can really get um, help from a lot of help from uh, the, the users on this community um, it's quite an active community and there's very very friendly people there who are, who are willing to help you out let's just try the wiki again see if it's uh... no there's obviously a problem with the wiki today um... So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will be back in future to make some more. Um, as always, I've been Ben Rowland. Uh, many thanks for watching. I'll see you later.